We're here to celebrate the 2016 Business Awards for Hamilton District Council and we want to share with you what has happened with some of the people and businesses who were successful last year. Here are their stories of the last 12 months in business. Since winning the award in July, uh, the, the, most, the biggest and the most pointed thing is that we've moved premises from where we are, where I'm sitting now, to a bigger unit on Standard Way in North Allerton. Um, this is great, it's a real um, progression for the business. We've got much more space and so the opportunities uh, for our future there are, are far greater. Uh, after winning the award, the publicity that we received was, was really great. There was coverage in the DNS Times. Um, we got some brilliant footage, um, a video, and also a great photograph of Catherine receiving the award that we were able to publish onto social media. So we use that on our Facebook page and on Twitter. It was good to be able to show the customers what we'd achieved and we got a positive response to that. The good thing about doing business in Hambleton is that everybody is generally so uh, friendly and helpful. Um, there's some very good training resources uh, which are easily accessible. We take full advantage of the Lunch and Learn at the Evolution Centre and we've covered subjects from digital marketing to emotional intelligence and Catherine takes full advantage of the first Mondays for networking. She does it on a very regular basis. Uh, and it's good to get out there and meet people and for people to know what we do. Well, there's a lot happened over the last 12 months uh, since we won the award, the Hamilton Award. Um, we've won also the award for the best visitor attraction in England by Visit England. Um, and we found that this year, year on year, We've actually um, increased numbers to the centre uh, and this year we're on for a, uh, an increased profit which obviously all goes well for the future. Oh, what's, doing, what's good uh, for doing business in Hamilton is, is very many, many things. Uh, in particular, of course, you've got the Herriot, um, the World of James Herriot, um, Thirsk, which is a lovely town, and of course Herriot Country, which is up the Dales and, and the rest of Hamilton. So people come to uh, Thirsk basically to see uh, the World of James Herriot, and they come from all over the world, um, as far away as Korea, China, um, and even the Caribbean. So we, we get a very diverse amount of people coming in from all over the world and long may it rain. Um, our business continues to, to do well. We're very busy supporting clients in chemical and nuclear industry where we provide project management services and expertise to people who want to build new facilities uh, on large capital projects. Uh, that's the day job so as well as keeping that going I've maintained my role as governor at Stokesy School. Stokesy School went through a academy conversion over the last year or so and has now become part of the Arete Learning Trust so setting that new academy status up has been quite a project in itself. I'm now a director and a trustee of the, the trust and continue to support the school and other schools and colleges around here particularly with regards STEM subjects and talking to students offering careers advice and information on what you can do with STEM qualifications in terms of opportunities for further study and employment. Last year or so I've continued to work with Stokesley and other local schools in setting up events like an engineering careers night where we had over 40 local companies coming in talking about um, the work they do, what sort of people they're looking for uh, and employment skills. We've also done quite a bit of mock interview work with six formers from Stokes who were looking to go to a university interviews and maybe not an interview of that sort before so we've been doing mock interviews um, working with the year nines, we've done some speed networking events where people from different professions have come in and you have a five or ten minute interview on a, on a carousel basis so that the, the students get to see a lot of different people in a short space of time. Um, and continuing supporting the school with specific projects, so designing technology, I'm currently doing a project with some six farmers where they're looking at designing and making a new bike shelter. So let them do the design, but come in and give some tips about you know, what's practical and what are the do's and don'ts in approaching this sort of sort of project. And then helping them to go out to the local businesses and, and, and get costings and work out um, 
how to get this done and actually do it. The school's got a new business manager, so there's a lot of new projects in the school at, at, the, at the moment, and it's quite an exciting time to be associated with it. It's been busy. It seems to be a busy time for Beedale. Uh, we've been, again, doing the windows. We've had Mother's Day and Easter. Just trying to make the salon look nice all the time and keep, keep going. The training and development in the salon has been working really well. We've taken on another apprentice this year with the help of a grant from Hamilton. So that's softened the blow slightly, wages-wise. So we're putting her through her training. So it's nice to think that we've, we've got some continuity that we can keep achieving another apprentice in the business. I find because I'm in Hamilton doing business, we are well supported. I've learned that there is somebody at the end of the phone if I'm in Hamilton up. I've got contacts now over the last few years, especially since we've been at the awards, I've made different contacts with people. There's always somebody I can ask and somebody whose brains I can pick a little bit in Hamilton to find out where I should go, what should I do, how do I achieve this? And if there's any help available, whether it's just paperwork or just pushing me in the right direction. I find as a business in Bido, we're pretty much well supported by Hamilton, keeping everywhere clean, tidy. You know, just the basics, I just find Hamilton is supportive of us. Winning this award gave us a real boost, bringing the award back to the people who work here and had put in all that hard work. Um, gave them a, an opportunity to take a step back and just feel proud of what they'd achieved. And it also enabled us to take a step back, to reassess. We believe Hamilton is a fantastic place to do business. It provides a great infrastructure, it's cost effective, uh, but also has a brilliant quality of life for the people here, being in a rural location. Name It is International is for a reason. 90% of our customers are actually from overseas. We've had a number of international clients visit us here in Stokesley and they're just blown away by the beauty of the area. We decided to make the most of our opportunities. We've had a very strong recruitment drive. We've recruited a new chief operating officer. Um, we're now in the last two of the finalists for our uh, production team leader recruitment and we've taken an unfortunate situation for the closing down of SSI and tried to recruit from that pool and we've had some really excellent candidates come forward for that. We've put together a list of all of the conferences worldwide that we should be uh, uh, hitting with our instruments. Um, we're looking to increase our level of distribution but we've also put a new focus on future product development. What we do is confidential, it's top secret, so I can't tell you a great deal about what's happening, but you just have to watch this space.